Hey guys, so the other day I posted this photo on a bunch of the uh, instrument repair tech forums and I got a lot of questions from some people about how I made it and where I got the parts and what are the parts. So I thought I'd make this quick little video and show you how I put everything together. I will also put a link to all the parts and where to buy them in the description of the video. Alright, so when you order the parts, this is pretty much how they'll be when they arrive. Uh, this magnetic base and arm is pretty awesome. The magnet is actually really strong and there's three moving joints on this arm but you only screw that one knob and it tightens everything down so it makes it really easy to set things up. So what we want to do here is take the indicator holder off of the arm. It's connected by that ball so I want to take the ball out of the arm. It's held on there by a little retaining ring so I'm going to take a a poker and just kind of slide it in there and uh, slide the ring so I can see it on the other side of the ball and then I'll grab it with some pliers and pull it out without shooting it across the shop. Once that's taken care of, I'm going to take it over to my collet set. I'm going to find the right size collet to grab this ball without marring it up because I want to get a good grip to unthread it from the indicator holder. Next I'm going to take this nickel rod and cut a short stem with some threads on the end. Uh, the threads will screw into the ball and connect it to the arm and the other part of the stem will be connected to the machinist clamp. You should probably use some steel to uh, make this stem but I didn't have any steel in the shop so I just used some nickel. Next I'm going to go over to the machinist clamp and I'm going to just dremel off some of this cold bluing uh, surface that's on top of the, the steel. Uh, I want to be brazing onto a clean surface so I'll just remove some of that first. Next I took some flux and I put it right on the bottom of that short stem and placed it right where I wanted it onto the machinist arm. And then I'm just using these burn pliers as something to hold the stem there while I braise it on there. Quick dip in the acid, 
then a quick tickle on the ultrasonic. Then I dry it off and spray it with some fluid film. Then I'm going to take both parts over to the lathe and screw that ball onto the arm. And then same thing as loosening it, I'm going to use the collet chuck to grip onto the ball so I can tighten the arm onto the ball and not worry about things becoming unthreaded when I'm actually using the arms for brazing. The last step is we're going to assemble all our finished parts. Uh, one more tricky step is to get this retaining ring back into the cylinder. Uh, I kind of just put it right over where it should be sitting and then I'm going to use a pair of needle pliers to uh, push the ring right back into position. And there you go. Repeat those steps two more times and then you'll have three functioning arms. And then just find a piece of scrap steel uh, for a base or anything that you can make work and you're ready to go.